final installment reading out behind the scenes information related to your classic Doctor Who serial Inferno. This is sourced from the TARDIS data core Doctor Who's fan wiki. Another cutscene would have actually shown the death of the unit soldier mentioned by the Brigadier. Harry Slocum was to have come up behind him and strangled him to death. John Pertwee would not follow Douglas Canfield's directions and when the star argued if production assistant Chris Doyle John an irate Canfield descended from the production gallery, forcing Sheila Dunn to intervene and persuade Pertwee to comply. Originally, section leader Shaw was to interrogate the Doctor in episode 3, but Nicholas Courtney, Douglas Canfield and Barry Letts thought that it should be the brigade leader. Caroline John wasn't happy about this. Nicholas Courtney and Caroline John both named this as their favourite serial. John Pertwee and Derek Newark have had previously guest starred in a season 5 episode of The Avengers 1961-69 to called From Venus With Love. Discounting individual episode titles in seasons 1 to 3, this is the first serial in which the title consists of only one word. The Doctor makes a joking reference to Batman. Coincidentally, John Pertwee's son, Sean Pertwee, would later play Alfred Pennyworth in Gotham. The unusual triple arrow symbol appearing on cap badges and buildings on the parallel Earth is almost certainly intended to resemble the broad arrow, a symbol used to denote government property in the real world. The broad arrow image is strongly protected by Crown copyright and cannot be reproduced in any form without government permission. The set and costume designers likely did not consider it worthwhile to seek official approval, so devised an Urzat stand-in. This story has the distinction of being ranked as Doctor Who magazine readers' favourite to a Doctor story in all four of their major polls in 1998, 2009, 2014, and 2023. Wow, it's one of the best. Uh, of this season, actually, my favourite is Ambassadors of Death, but this should probably be my second favourite, to be totally fair, of the season. Of all third Doctor? God. I'm talking about possibly my favourite era. Um, I'm partial to the Carnival of Monsters, Sea Devils, Claws of Axos, and um, they have the Daleks. Anyway, Barry Letts and Terrence Dix didn't think the drilling plot was enough to carry seven episodes, so they added the Parallel Earth plot. They also thought the story needed a monster, so they added the Prime Wards. What a great decision. Fantastic, yes. So Keith Gold's Surname so was originally Mulvaney, then Rose. Private Wyatt was originally named Peters. One element removed from the storyline was a doctor returning to the normal world while in possession of the missing microcircuit from the parallel universe's computer and then using it to repair Stallman's sabotage. Barry Letts envisioned the Prime Wards as being ape like creatures. It was Douglas Canfield who suggested that they be like werewolves. Hmm. Don Halton referred to the two universes as Warp 1 and Warp 2 in the script, while the doctor's journey between worlds is described as the Nightmare Warp. The constant ambience at a central control was always playing during shooting was always playing during shooting and not a post production sound effect. You know, I think we'll close it here. We've finished the story notes here. Sorry about that. We'll conclude with part seven of our Inferno retrospective. We'll be discussing my thoughts on the serial overall. It shouldn't take very long and I don't know how interesting it will be, but if you're so inclined, tune in next time.